Today, I'm having a conversation with Olawale Adetola, co-founder at TNC Africa. He will be sharing valuable film industry insights as well as how he was able to establish his brand from a startup into a global brand. So stay with us. Olawale Adetola is a co-founder and CEO of TNC Africa a startup on a mission to take original African stories to the world. He is an experienced entrepreneur and marketing professional who has spent the last 15 years working in various roles across different industries. Olawale Adetula likes to describe himself as an unrepentant media addict. Lavale, it's so nice to meet you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's been a, it's a real pleasure being here. Awesome. I mean, I'll be very interested to know more about your business, yourself and your journey so far. So you are the founder or sorry, the co-founder at TNC Africa. And, you know, it'd be great to know how you were able to start this business. Great. So, um, yeah, I've always been an entrepreneur. Um, I've tried my hands at, at different things, but um, one thing I'm always passionate about is telling original African stories, right? Uh, making sure that we in Africa can take our stories to other parts of the world. Um, having been privileged enough to, you know, go to different parts of the world, one of the things that's consistent is that not a lot of people really know what our reality is as Africans, you know, what, what is that? What is our day to day like? You know, what are our people like and, and all that stuff, right? So, um, I've always wanted to create something around that. And, um, when the opportunity to, um, do that through film and TV presented itself, I jumped at it. Um, you know, with my co-founders, we, we went into the, um, Nollywood film industry, as it were, um, to start learning and eventually create a, a global production company where we now tell original African stories using TV series. It sounds like, um, an amazing journey so far. Um, another thing is, so you work a, a nine to five or a corporate job, more, more like, um, how were you able to balance a corporate job as well as um, being a co-founder at TNC Africa? Well, um, I've, I've, um, I have different sort of passion points and all, um, but one of the reasons why I've still kept my corporate job is um, I always tell people funding within the sort of uh, media and uh, creative industry isn't great. So someone had to stay behind, you know, to ensure that at least we still had some sort of, um, you know, um, income coming in from somewhere else to balance the things out as our business continues to grow. Um, but I think in terms of balancing it or managing it, it's, it's down to time management. It's down to you being very sort of prescriptive about what you want to achieve and also down to you being very transparent, right? So any organization I work with, the very first thing I told them is, look, this is my passion. This is something I've been doing for a few years now. Um, are you interested? Are you interested in, you know, taking my talent while also while I keep doing this thing because it's a part of me. And as long as, you know, you're transparent about it and then you can figure out how to do your time management. I always tell people there's nothing wrong in you going to work um, nine to five and then you set aside a couple of hours, you know, later in the day to do what you're really passionate about because that couple of hours if you put your all into it, it will it could go on to mean like 10 hours of work, right? Because that's your real core passion. So for me, that's really how I balance things out. Awesome. So what sort of movies are you into? I watch everything. <laughs> so that is one thing I always tell all creative people, I, you know, try, you never know where inspiration will come from. You never mm -hmm. know where the next big idea will come from. So I watch anything and everything, right? So think of the sort of like audit weirdest or, you know, any kind of odd TV or uh, movie or film. I will watch it. I do have a personal preference for sort of like indie movies, you know, and, and things like that. Um, and I'm also a sort of like musical nerd, um, which is strange. I really do. It's just something that I like. I like musicals and well done musical. Yeah. So what film of recent has been very inspiring to you and why? Well, I just spoke about um, musicals. So I, I saw two musicals and I think in the last few months that really, really caught my attention. The first was 
Serrano, um, which is um, uh, Peter Dinklage, you know, doing his thing, um, fantastic actor. And the second one is called um, In the Heights. So it's again, screenplay was written um, by some of the guys on Hamilton, the the West End or Broadway uh, sort of show. Um, so I, I, I think I, I, they re it really got me inspired, you know, just to see mm -hmm. how people can combine, you know, two genres is like music and, and film and visual, you know, to tell compelling stories. And yeah, I, I really love those two productions. That is fantastic, Lawale. And one of the things is that TNC Africa um, is, is on its mission to um, produce films that represent African stories made in Africa by Africans. And we've also seen a couple of movies that have stood out as major hits recently. So. How is TNC Africa changing the narrative of storytelling? I think what is key to us is, you know, telling original African stories. And whenever we say that, the first thing people ask us is, what do you mean by original African stories, right? So for us, it's um, any story that is relatable to the average African. When you tell that story from an African perspective, and when we say African perspective, it's not something, you know, completely different from what you'd see in the West, because that exactly is the stereotype we're trying to correct, right? The same way people go about their day-to-day -day lives in the West is the same way we do that in Africa or in any other region. We're not different. It's not like, you know, we go from huts or everyone is a farmer or something like that, right? We're trying to change that perspective. Yes, of course, culture is different. So the way a typical um, sort of like teenager or, you know, someone in their early adults who would live their life in an, in an African society will be slightly different because of all the cultural nuances, right? So as long as that story is true to anyone who's African or of African descent, right? They see, they see themselves in that story. Those are the kind of stories we want to tell. Those are the kind of stories we want to take to the rest of the world so that they start learning more about us. They see that, look, we're just like any other, you know, um, person in any other part of the world, but with our own culture and all those different nuances. That is very interesting to hear. So in your opinion, if it's one thing that could make the film industry much better today, what would that be? In my opinion, it will definitely be, you know, capabilities, you know, learning and acquiring skills because um, that is one thing that was very shocking for me coming into the sort of like film industry is to realize that, look, the, the capability level was still quite uh, rudimentary. So a lot of stuff that you see people in other markets miles and years ahead, right? We're still struggling with the basic things, lighting, even storytelling, which is the foundation, right? writing a story properly to follow the right structure, right? So ensuring that we develop our level of capability, acquire those skill sets that we need, right? And um, that's I think that's the biggest thing. The second biggest thing that I'll say is transparency. Just making sure that we're opening it, this industry up um, so that more people will see what is going on. Um, a lot of people have interests, but they don't even know what's going on in the industry. There's not enough uh, literature. There's not enough books. There's not enough documentation telling people this is the way to go. This is not the way to go. So I think those are some of the things that could really um, um, bring about change in the industry. Thank you very much for your time, Lavalier. Thank you very much for having me.